Welcome back, it's Dex and I Dexter, back with another video, and today I have a course review for a Harvard CS50, which is this, like Introduction to Computer Science course, that uh, goes over like pretty much, I guess, everything you need to know like us from a standpoint of foundations of computer science. Um, this is a course I've been wanting to take for uh, quite a while now, um, since I think I learned about it, which is probably like a year ago. Um, I just never really had the time, and when it comes to like courses that are like long running, like college curriculum courses, it's sometimes um, a time commitment that I usually don't have, or you know, I'll, like cuff out, you know, a few times, you know, a few classes or something into it. But I really want to do this one, so I've had experience with this course before. Like I've seen like maybe a few of the classes here and there, but this is the most recent one. This is the 2021 edition, and I kind of just want to talk about it. Um, in this video, I'll be going over just five basic, you know, points for this. I'll be going over like things like initial reaction, class materials, like what I think of the instructor, the instructor, and uh, what do you think the key takeaways are, and uh, who who should take this class. And if you are interested in any of these topics, then you should stick around. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, looking at CS50, like, my initial reaction is kind of like, wow, this is a amazing course. Or at least the, the first classes. I'm talking about week zero in particular. Because how it started off was so cinematic is, uh, I guess, the best way to explain it. As soon as you get into the course, it's like an opening of some type of award-winning TV show or movie starts off with like the nice camera angles and b-roll it's really nice and pleasing to the eye and already gets you into the mode like oh this is not like your typical class that you've ever been if you've ever been in a class like i have you know i went to college and i have my bachelor's there's no type of thrill or like you know mood really being set it's kind of like sit down get your work get your laptops or your paper out depending on like you know what kind of class it is and you got to go ahead and make sure you're getting the work done the teacher is very monotone uh it's a lot of like dryness to it they're going through it you know so quick because they've been doing this over and over again throughout their whole entire career so especially like those 10-year professors they've been teaching the same class or something similar to the same class for over a year maybe decades who knows right and so they don't really come across you know the most you know elegant it's not the most hard-hitting you know class being taught you know especially as we see different things like online classes or you know especially during the pandemic most classes are online and we see that a lot more happening where like cs50 was really refreshing you don't you don't get that same you know energy as you would from a traditional learning environment this class seems like the production instructor material was all like thought about and handled with love and care right it wasn't just like information the bare bone that you need to get this is information that would be the easiest to digest for the people who are viewing and that was really like nice to me this is coming from somebody who's like taking like other courses like seeing other youtube channels that have like courses or like similar materials on this um taking like other classes from like lynda.com you know skillshare as well as like things like uh plural site where there are a lot of different tech classes and a lot of information not to say that those are bad compared to this it's just the level of it the scale of it and the intent and it seems like it was all was mixed together pretty nicely especially in this week one class uh, because going into week one of a computer science class that they may be hearing about it and like thinking like yo this is going to be very tough like i've heard a lot of people in the industry and they don't really think that this is a <laughs> Any type of easy task to do is something you can't learn overnight. You know, a lot of people think computer science is akin to mathematics as far as like level of effort to learn. It's going to be hard to learn, basically. But this one it doesn't put you in that that mindset. And like, I wish like more science classes and math classes were taught exactly like this. But let's go into like the class material. That will give you like I guess a better overview of like what exactly happened in this class. So it was broken down to different sections, you know, after like the 
cinematics were kind of wore off the music kind of toned down and then you're kind of now into a more classroom-esque you know like setting right so it goes to what is computer science right and pretty much the instructor breaks down hey computer science is nothing but problem solvers with computers and what's so amazing about the information in this course was how it was structured how it really built upon everything like one one section wasn't like you know alienated by another section it was all built upon one another to become like a good foundation but also explain um a variety of topics with computer science all in the first class mind you this is like almost like a two-hour lecture so like uh for me with the class like lectures are usually not that long this would probably be like a tuesday thursday class or a once a week type of class if you go like monday tuesday wednesday thursday like i would usually go just to because to chop down on the volume information so it won't be thrown at me um that may be maybe a potential like con to you but it's two hour class you can break it up however long you want to but you probably wouldn't want to as soon as you get into this material you won't want to but it starts off with like what is computer science it gives the basics the inputs the outputs and then it goes from there to like representing of numbers you know they start like with what is binary ones and zeros how is binary being representing how does that represent numbers you know how does you know they go through zero through nine is you know how do you represent that through binary through how do you represent bigger numbers like hundreds thousands millions something like that right and they walk you through that and the whole time you're like learning and you're freaking this out and what's so great about this is that they're taking things that you already know right everybody knows like one through nine even if you're not the biggest math person you know usually how to count to ten right uh, everybody most likely would know something like that you know what i'm saying so this is something like even like i feel like my niece or nephew could learn somebody that you know that are even younger that aren't even on a collegiate level yet could really learn and understand and grasp this to some extent it may be still a little bit more too advanced for them especially because of the maybe the pacing for somebody like that but it's still a good opportunity for people to learn it goes like from that to like numbers then it goes from how does these binary numbers these bits these bytes turn into numbers turn to text right and they start giving examples about like sending text messages something you do on a daily basis right or a message somebody you do at least on a weekly basis you know you either like maybe pinging somebody back and forth sending a text message or you're just chatting online on like a discord or server or some type of group chat or something like that and then they go from that going from different standards from like the ascii standards and everything and they go from that to like how are pictures being formed you know what i'm saying like how are videos being formed and it's pretty incredible to think about that from this this two-hour course you go from you don't know what computer science is or programming is and you get a foundation of binary all the way up to videos they don't just stop there they go all the way to algorithms and the purpose of algorithms, right? And they use a great example where they was talking about a phone book and you get to visually see him tear open a phone book. It's very physical, the ripping, the seeing of the phone book and how efficient algorithms can be, you know? And it touches lightly on like, you know, logarithmic time, right? Or time space complexity, right? Which is basically like um, how, how fast something goes, versus how much memory it takes up and so it touches on this in the first video right and this may seem like a lot to go over but how the course material is it builds on top of each other like really well like legos it goes from that without even you have to even touch a single line of code this is all conceptual based so this would be very good for somebody who may not who may have seen code or dealt with code and felt very daunting it goes from that bytes text messages images videos algorithms to even you starting writing your own pseudocode right and like even from that to a very light example of programming using their programming scratch which in my opinion is a good choice so you don't want to go straight from from like this is my first day i'm learning to code i'm coding in a terminal or some type of text editor no they're taking me to more friendly examples or more like 
literally I've used Scratch before to teach uh, kids programming, like basic concepts of programming, like high school kids and stuff. So it's a very nice way of like introducing these new topics to a lot of people. I enjoyed it very much so, and I plan on taking this entire course throughout this entire year. Uh, and so what was next on the list was the instructor, right? It really says a lot about an instructor to be able to tackle such a subject like math or science and, pe and get people interested. I think it's a reason why, like, you know, there's a difference between just like some type of teacher who can like spit out just information and like a real instructor, a professor that can profess their knowledge to you. And this is what exactly what he does. This instructor is very high energy, all right? Not like so much like a comedian or like he's like amped or anything, but you can see him conveying his passion from each topic, right? And this is something um, that I really like, but I also know that he's done this before. Like I've been through like, you know, some of his older material and some of the material is new, don't get me wrong, but he knows this. He's been, he said he's even sat in this position when he was in school. So not only did he go through this course himself when he was in Harvard, he also now teaches it and taught it for years. So that high energy, as well as him being so battle tested and being so thorough with coding and programming, gives him a very like elegant way of answering even like the students questions, being able to explain topics and break them down without like any type of hiccup. He's really good at that, um, especially like the passion. Like I can't get a, really around how much passion it seems like he has for you know computer science. Um, it almost seems like it was a play. Like he was you know reading lines to like Othello or something like that. I'm seeing some type of high production computer science drama, yeah, which is amazing to see how he's going through this. Like I said, the coursework, the material is already really really good, but without the correct you know, actor delivering these lines, hitting their marks, it probably would fall on deaf ears. So they have that. They have a Robbie Downer Jr. playing Iron Man in this example, right? Going in and really structuring, building up on the topics, conveying with his tone, his messaging, even with the physical parts of his examples, what matters, what can really sink in, and giving real life examples that most people use. I think that was amazing. I'm glad they picked this instructor, and I'm glad like they have somebody like this that's giving out all this information. Let's go on forward to who do you think should take this class? Like this is an introductory class, so you can take this. Anybody can. You know, I've been in the industry for over a year now. I'm a software engineer, and like I always want to take this class. For me, being a self-taught developer, no boot camps, right? Uh, nothing like that. I learned this all on my own. I always wanted to go back and take some of these classes to see whether the knowledge I may have missed, something that may not really impact my job too much, but give me a better breadth of computer science and understand this more from just a coding perspective, like the theory that is computer science. So anybody who is thinking about taking computer science or looking into getting into the industry or like just one that dip their toe in without having to put any, any physical work in yet, I think should take this first class. Because if you take this course, you're definitely going to you know, dive into some code. You're definitely going to start programming and touching some code, which is something cool that we'll get there on a later weeks and later courses, you know, or later uh, classes inside this course. But I think you should definitely check, check it out to get an example of what computer science is, give you real examples and keep you interested in there. And if you think you will want to do it, I say go ahead and take this week one, but it'll be week zero because, you know, as programmers, we start counting at zero. Last part is just like some key takeaways, right? This is like, you know, almost two hours of a, of a class, right? So this is almost like a movie length version of computer science and you're getting two hours worth of information. So take that as you will, right? If you're not the person to be able to focus for a long periods of time on different tasks or even if it's something fun, you just get like bored very easily. This may be hard for you to sit there as you know there may be some parts where it is ramping up to a big example or a big relatability moment to you right um, because you know this is a course this is a class at the end of the day so this is information if you want it you know 
they can't spoon spoon feed, feed it to you. This is all gonna have to be, you know, self paced self study, something you want for yourself. So that's something you just, uh, you know, take with a grain of salt, right? It would be pretty cool, and maybe later on if they cut them in half, maybe an hour long or whatever. But they also have other like tutoring sessions or like you know bite sized informational subjects that break down what he was talking about to maybe like five or ten minute videos which are pretty cool and um i think this is good for anybody who wants to learn especially like going in it from like a harvard perspective like it's harvard it's that type of school and then seeing that you can really learn this like the week zero week one course whatever you want to call it and then seeing that oh i can learn this this is something cool and having that harvard brand behind it makes you you know I think it'll make you feel a little bit like I can do this. This is Harvard, this is the highest learning, you know, one of the highest institutions when it comes to everything, right? And the fact that I could keep up with a course from Harvard is nice. Um, but I think that says a lot about uh, the course and the classwork and the instructor as well. But yeah, tell me what your thoughts are if you took this course or go ahead and watch this first lecture. Maybe you can do like the practice problems, which I can do if you want me to, just drop a comment down below and I can pop up with a video of like the scratch problems that he had. But go ahead and watch that video. Go ahead and watch the first lecture. Come back to this video and drop a comment down. Tell me how you felt about it. Or if you already took it, tell me what you think. Do you think uh, this was worth your time when you did take it? Do you... Uh, Feel like this is better than other courses that you had regardless of the fact i don't think you will waste your time by starting here thank you for your time and dex night dexter is out